good morning everybody. Welcome to a special edition of Letters for Saturday morning. That's Lettuce, Lettuce, Lettuce for the 17th of August 2019. Gotten a lot of letters. Got to catch up on them, especially on the uh, camper van, Kevin, uh, van life with Sheldon's travels situation. So I thought I'd dive into a few more of those this morning. And then we'll do uh, Camo Dave live Saturday. What is it? Saturday. Saturday. Two episodes today, 9.30 a.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay. And then I don't know. But we've got some, well, so, anyway, I've got a whole bunch of new YouTubers to show you, too, so the channels you've recommended. They will be, uh, I'll do that Sunday morning, okay? All right. Judith G. writes, here's the thing, Dave. I love most of your nomadics, <laughs> my nomadics. And for sure, Dave, I loves you. But I believe KVC, I guess that's CVK. Uh, so there, Amen. Uh, Mike wrote the words for Stephanie, did not believe a word, writes uh, Sromo522. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, that. I just thought that, that uh, little announcement that Stephanie read yesterday there for Van, Van Life, it's a hard one to say, isn't it? I always say, want to say Van City, Van Life, Van Life, Sheldon's Travels. Uh, too many Van Lifes in people's titles, I'm getting confused. I'll just we'll just say Sheldon the Sheldon channel okay that would make it easy uh, it did look kind of strange um, yeah this she looked like she was reading it I don't know uh, babbling Wayne the mic is wait 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 what is it okay this person complains about both of them <laughs> okay they deserve one another they're they're kind of both kind of low level they deserve each other meaning CVK and Sheldon. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Twin Sparrow says this whole thing between CVK and the Sheldon's channel. Uh, he said, she said. Again! Jeez, jeesh. I don't take sides. I, I wasn't there, but I get so tired of the squabbling. Yeah, high school stuff. They need to grow up. I don't have time for it. It's not enjoyable. Bye-bye! <laughs> Cheryl uh, says that Stephanie, Mike and Stephanie, is young, has lots to learn. I thought she was younger than 25. She looks young. I don't think she's that young, okay? My feeling is older than that, but she does have a very youthful appearance. Maureen writes, there's lots of drama now at the bottom of YouTube. And Anna's, Anna's Nicole's paranormal. Oh, yeah. Here lately, the Camo Dave show is better than days of our lives. <laughs> No, it's TMZ. We're like TMZ, all right? Uh, Gladys writes, why is no one questioning the Patreon, or the patron? Yeah, the patron that uh, uh, a man in his van, Meek, interviewed anonymously on the phone that said that they had given a lot of money to, to uh, well, let's just call him VLST, Van Life Sheldon's Travels. I like that, VLST. Yeah, CVK and VLST. Let's just do it like that. I saw many discrepancies in her video. Uh, and, and, and yet many people say that her she was one of the posts that Kevin put up. Her name is in one of the posts that Kevin put up on his Facebook page. And people have already recognized her voice. I'm not going to get into who it is because I'm not doxing anybody. But you can guess. Uh, and plus, according to Gladys, uh, she is also Kevin's patron along with Rome's. Uh, and then she went... And then she sent the post to Kevin after she got mad at uh, Van Life Sheldon's travels, and that's what one of the ones I think he put up on his Facebook, right? Right. <laughs> uh, anyway, Gladys thinks that Van Life Sheldon's travels got broadsided. Watch the van build videos. Look at Kevin Van Camper Van Kevin's Facebook, and then listen to the pa the patron stirring this up. Yeah, I don't know, man. It takes three to tango. <laughs> your patron's in there somewhere. Or your Patreon or whatever they call it. I don't know. <laughs> Lara said for the longest time, he, she, thought, she thought that Stephanie was Mike's daughter. Well, she does look young. She does look young. But no, they're, they're I guess, a happy couple, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. GB Marie is upset. Uh, she said, uh, "Do you did you notice how Stephanie gave out the name of the YouTube channel for the lady, the, pa the former patron, who wanted to stay private? That was totally uncalled for. While she sits defending her and her man, she is revealing private information again. Hmm. According to NH Libra, Stephanie got her mar marching orders from Mike. 
because she was assigned damage control. Uh, he's lost some of his persuasiveness, but he but heeds her, but needs her to throw a life ring, a life yeah, a, a life ring, uh, uh, you know, and and try to save. Oh, I see yeah, one of those uh, life. What do they call it? Life rings. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The life ring to save the sinking ship. Okay. The key words I heard her say, quote, we ask everyone to put this in the past and move on, unquote. That always comes from the person who starts the BS. Of course, they want every everyone to just forget about it and not mention it anymore. I can think of another, uh, oh, okay. No matter. Dub -dub 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 -dub. <laughs> Whatever. V. <laughs> Chillin writes, I know the uh, anonymous patron and uh, learn quick that you don't share anything with her that you don't want to be twisted and told to everyone. That's RV chilling. And Nicole also writes, uh, Dave, you're right. Either way, uh, they got brought into this. That's Destination Open Road. Destination Open Road's having the big, um, their little meetup, big little meetup there on the 22nd there at their Washington compound. Uh, and they've, you know, Kevin was invited. Uh... Sheldon's Travels couple was already there doing their van build. I think a lot of folks are upset that they didn't uh, uh, set the record straight about CVK being kicked out of the tribe. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, no, I, Kevin Man Kevin said he wasn't kicked out of any tribe, that he just is busy and is not going to be at uh, DOR's meetup. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I like Scott and Terry Destination Open Road, uh, but they probably never knew that Aja had a part in any of this. Now we're dragging Aja and Pandemonium into this too. I mean, it's like we've got this this little storm going on, and then we got the periphery here: Destination Open Road, Scott and Terry, and Aja Pandemonium, and they're all kind of in on it. I don't know what's going. I'm getting really confused. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I don't know. Uh, Camp Goer One writes. Uh, uh, I think this video of Stephanie's was scripted by Mike. If not, why would she have to read it? And why was he not there as well to speak? Yeah, I thought that was strange too. At least sitting by her side. She could have read it. He could have just sat by her side with his arm around her and kind of nodded and, you know, in agreement and, and at least been there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to hold the camera. I don't know. But the they often film the, he's, most of his videos are them together. He can figure that one out, right? Uh, Camp Goer 1 continues, why, my question is, why on earth would Camper Van Kevin say to Mike that he bets that Stephanie would leave him within a year? That's what happened, the, a, a, what was it, a year ago when they were both at Yellowstone? This is right, uh, before the break, right? I think they were together in Idaho, and then Kevin said that, made that remark to Mike, and, to Mike, and then Mike got mad, and that's what triggered the break, according to all the stuff we're hearing, so... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, it takes two to tango. <laughs> Three, four, or five. I don't know. Uh, Bubba Warbucks, having met all the principals in this soap opera except for Rome, and now uh, not, and and now the not necessarily anonymous donor. I have plenty of opinions about all of this, none of which make any difference at all. Period, and nothing more. <laughs> Rob Farnsworth, it's CVK all the way. Cindy Lambert, I think uh, Scott and Terry Destination Open Road are genuinely nice people who believe the best of everyone. I totally agree with you. And they're kind of stuck caught in the middle of this kind of odd situation. I, I totally agree with you that. And, uh, and Cindy also says the explanation video that Stephanie voiced was uh, video is just weird. I, I agree with that too. <laughs> Camp Goer 1, yes, it didn't come from Stephanie. Uh, if it did, she wouldn't have had to read it. Well, you know, there's there's two things. You know, one is you, you literally read what's on the screen. The other is just a bunch of talking points. So you remember everything and you just still voice it. You know, remember, eight, one, two, three, four. Talk about this, 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 and this. And then just talk about it so you at least sounds like it's coming to you fresh yeah when stephanie stephanie definitely felt like she was it felt like she was reading verbatim what somebody else wrote for her or or maybe what she wrote but <laughs> odd johnson stephanie is like crotchy a puppet ah! i don't know man
Mimi MC writes, Destination Open Road, Scott and Terry have never had any drama on their channel. Well, they did. They had the drama. Remember when they got sideswiped by that vehicle and you know who went and made a citizen's arrest? But I mean, they've had drama, not like personal drama like that. They've had a lot of like vehicle drama, right? But anyway, they've never had any drama on their channel. Please don't drag them into this. Aja Pandemonium is the same. Uh, the three are YouTube channels I watch. No cussing, no speaking ill of others, etc. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're kind, of, uh, kind of stuck in this. It's kind of like the perfect storm, right? Let's have a uh, little meetup here and our little compound. They didn't have to do that. And, uh, and then we have, uh, 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 it would be interesting, here's a way of solu is, is quietly solving all this for DOR and their, their little meet up there. Stephanie and Mike just go to Seattle to visit their friends and stay there for a little longer than they thought. And Kemper Van Kevin is busy and he stays back in Idaho and neither one, of, neither of them are there and then everybody else comes and don't mention anything else about this little drama. You know, if I was the uh, the PR guy for DOR, that's how I would say handle it. Just say, Mike and Stephanie, this is getting a little out of control. We're not making any judgments here. Why don't you guys just head on out for a, you know, <laughs> for a, a couple weeks? Huh? That's all. It's been nice to see you. Bye. Anyway, I just read the uh, highlights of some of the comments here. If you want to read more, uh, just read my comments, man. Uh, I, you know, yeah, anyway. Uh, you know, hey, you know, there are lots of disputes. We've been through, I've been doing this channel for three and a half years now, and we've been through a lot of different disputes and breakups and crazy stuff that goes on at the bottom of YouTube with all the nomads and, and things go on at the RTR and people fight and, and, you know, it's just when people, that's just what happens. I think, you know, in a way, this will all serve both channels better. More people will come to Camper Van Kevin and say, we really, really like you. And, and some people will stand up for Mike and Stephanie and say, hey, you know, uh, maybe we don't like you necessarily, but your chat we've discovered your channel now and we're kind of watching it to see if there's any more drama. So I think, I really do think negative, even negative stuff like this kind of drama works bet work, will actually help both sides uh, in the long run. I think it's interesting too to also look at the stats, the brutal stats here. Camper Van Kevin, hey, a record high 54,000 subs. He hit 50,000 subs just before his 50th birthday over the summer. And this channel's doing well. Uh, yeah, you know, he's doing okay. He's not up there with the people like Nomadic Fanatic, uh, some of the, you know, mega the mega stars, but he's grown his channel nicely and is in a good place. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I don't think this is going to hurt him at all. And to be honest with you, all these reports I'm hearing about Van Life Sheldon's travels losing tons of subs, according to the, you know, the YouTube stat, the uh, Social Blade stats here just ain't true. There are 7,000 subs, uh, and their views, their daily view average is up. Uh, a lot of green numbers on there, meaning their, their numbers are up. 13 new subs just yesterday. Uh, I don't know, man. I think, you know, their, their numbers look to be up, too. They've got, they got 7,000 views of their latest, uh, the latest explanation video there, which is up for them. You know, they're not a, as big a channel as Kevin is, but their numbers are doing pretty good. Um, you know, yeah. So anyway, um, I don't know. This crazy little drama is probably benefiting both sides, but I think, and, and I know that the, you guys out there probably enjoy it because it's been a slow, boring summer, watching all these nomads just going to places they've always been and just circling. <laughs> you know, there is, it's been a boring summer. Finally, in mid-August, we're getting a little bit of drama going on here, and maybe that's leading up to some really fun stuff coming up at the van build and the RTR. Or the many RTRs, <laughs> maybe a lot, two RTRs, one in California and one in Arizona. And then we'll have a huge split and a big war going on between them. Take your side, stand with Bob and come to California or, or be a traitor and go to Arizona. I don't know. It's going to be fun. It always is. I thank you for watching. I really do. Sheldon, Sheldon, come back here. I want to eat you, Sheldon. I want to eat you. Ah, ah, ah. Dub, 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 d